Newton's law of cooling. Newton's law of cooling says that the time rate of loss of heat is directly proportional to temperature difference between body and the surroundings provided the temperature difference is small. This is a body at temperature T2 and T1 is temperature of the surroundings. This temperature difference is T2 minus T1. So the law says that the time rate of loss of heat. So we can write minus dq by dt. Minus dq by dt. Q is heat energy. Minus means decrease with respect to temperature is proportional to T2 minus T1 or minus dq by dt is equal to some constant times T2 minus T1. This is temperature difference between body and the surroundings constant where small k is constant of proportionality constant of proportionality suppose specific heat of the body is s mass of the body is m and temperature decreases from T2. The drop in temperature is D T2. Then we can write that D Q equal to S M D T2. So this is from specific heat equation. Specific heat capacity equation. Heat energy required is equal to S M D T. And here loss of heat is equal to specific heat times mass into delta T2 dt2. Now let me write suppose the body of mass m and specific heat capacity s yes, is a temperature T2. If the temperature falls by dt2 in time dt, so temperature drops by dt2 means 1 degree drop, 0.5 degree drop in time dt in say 20 seconds, 30 seconds. Then the loss of heat is dq equal to sm dt2. Let me substitute this in this equation. This equation in this equation gives minus SM dt2 by dt equal to k times t2 minus t1. Right hand side is as it is. Therefore, dt2 by t2 minus t1 equal to k divided by k by sm with this negative sign into dt. See, k is a constant. Specific heat capacity is a constant. m is also a constant. So, these constants are replaced by another constant k. So, this is capital K into dt. Left hand side is d t2 by t2 minus t1. This minus is this minus where k is where capital K is k by sm small k by sm. 
Now, I want expression for T2. Therefore, let me integrate this equation. Integrating we get students you may not understand the integration right now because integration is a mathematical tool it's a topic which you are going to study in second view or 12th standard mathematics okay for time being you just try to understand little bit and reproduce let me write this with this symbol integration of d t2 by t2 minus t1 equal to right hand side is minus capital K into dt integration so when we integrate this what we get is ln lan ln t2 minus t1 equal to right hand side minus capital K into T plus C DT gives T plus C where C is constant of integration this small t is time C is constant of integration earlier this k was small k was constant of proportionality that constant is different type and this is constant of integration left hand side we get a constant you can say c1 right hand side we get another constant c2 c2 minus c1 gives c if you can understand this much that is enough after integration we have to write a constant that is called constant of integration okay and ln what is ln means it is log of something to base e so it is log of t2 minus t1 t2 minus t1 with respect to base e so this can also be written as ln of t2 minus t1 ln of t2 minus t1 is equivalent to log of t2 minus t1 to base e okay now this log is with respect to base e therefore log goes to other side means this base e entire right hand side should come with should come to the power of e minus k t plus c if it is base 10 10 to the power of this whole thing if it is base 5 5 to the power of whole thing it is e therefore e to the power of this whole thing <coughs> left hand side is t2 minus t1 remember we want expression for final temperature therefore t2 equal to minus t1 to right hand side becomes plus t1 plus this is e to the power of a plus b e to the power of a plus b means e to the power of b into e to the power of a minus k t x to the power of a into x to the power of b is x to the power of a plus b similarly this constant power constant is one more constant therefore this e to the power of c is replaced by c dash this is as it is e power minus k t this is t1 t1 is temperature of the surroundings t2 is temperature after time t so this is the required expression so this derivation can be asked for five marks statement of newton's law of cooling and the expression for final temperature t2
Now, let us plot two graphs. A graph of temperature difference delta T versus time. Observe, this is the temperature difference and this is time. As time increases, this temperature difference decreases exponentially, exponentially. Minus sign says decrease, exponential curve. Delta T, this delta T should be in Kelvin. This is time. Another graph, log T2 minus T1, lan T2 minus T1 versus time. Here is the expression. This expression is of the form y equal to mx plus c. This m is slope which is minus. Minus slope means it should decrease. And this represents a straight line. Therefore, this also represents a straight line. So here, this is the graph of log t2 minus t1 or ln t2 minus t1 versus time. This is delta t. Delta t is this, which decreases exponentially, exponential decrease and this decreases linearly. The graphs are asked for one mark each and the derivation is for five marks. In the derivation, make sure that you include statement. So this is Newton's law of cooling.